this little dilemma where you got to get this line out on the surface of the water, kind of stretched out in front of you. You just got to lob it out there so it's all straight. So, um, with this overhead pass, the rod tip is going to be low to the surface of the water, right? That's where we're going to start everything until it flies back out on the water. When you're casting, you're going to hold, you want to hold the line in one hand or the other. So right now, um, because I'm just doing the same cast over and over, I can hold it up. Beautiful. Fish B now. Fish what? B. Cast to fish B. It wasn't pretty, but it got there. Eventually, you got to get that fly out to where the fish are. <laughs> <laughs> Is there so? Um, someone had said at some point like three, do maximum of three thingies, mm -hmm. three, whatever it is. No. False cast. Yeah. You try to do as few as you need to. Okay. Some people need to do more than others. Yeah. But less, less they don't do it know. as just because you like to do it. Do it, it's a functional thing. Yeah. You do it as few times as necessary to get the fly where you want it to be. Okay. The exception would be if you're drying the fly off by false casting, then you know you okay. can do it another one or two times. But okay. most of the time, I try to do just like back and then forward. If I okay. need to change direction sometimes I'll go back forward back forward yeah. but try to minimize that yeah I don't think I'm there yet I think I'm still in the like because I'm still afraid to let go because, you know okay well you've got the concept yeah not too far back There it is, laid out on the water beautifully. It's like a golfer who takes like 10 practice swings. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> 